It really is not surprising to anyone that Microsoft wants Windows 10 users to upgrade to Windows 11. It even suggests that those who are unable to upgrade due to ineligible hardware dump their PCs and get a new one with Windows 11. And that's hardly what we call environmental. As Windows 10's end of support date approaches, most people will be looking to make the jump. And Microsoft is also looking forward to that. The TPM 2.0 is one of the system requirements for the Windows 11 upgrade, and Microsoft has explained why that is. The Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, was released originally in October 2014. As such, if your computer was created before that date, then it's guaranteed not to be equipped with a TPM 2.0 chip, and more likely will facilitate TPM 1.2. The TPM trip can protect your data. It can also encrypt your data, making it difficult for hackers to access sensitive information. This is especially critical in the modern enterprise, but also can be applicable to things like personal details, financial data and confidential files. In addition to this, the TPM chip, the trusted platform module, will verify the integrity of your system software and firmware. This feature, called Secure Boot, helps stop malicious software from launching during startup. Now, if someone tries to physically tamper with your device's hardware, remove a graphics card, remove a processor, refit memory, TPM can detect changes and prevent your system from booting, keeping your device secure from physical malicious attacks. People trying to brute force access to your device's files by removing a hard drive and putting it into a donor system will be thwarted by this encryption. Now, many of Windows 11's most powerful security features indeed rely on TPM. These tools help keep your data safe even if your device is lost or stolen. The inclusion of a TPM chip may seem like a little bit of a hindrance. However, Microsoft is saying that it's not really the end goal and it's the first click stop on a journey. What they're saying is that they can now guarantee that once people are on Windows 11 and they have a TPM chip, it means that they can make sure that every app developer is now storing credentials and keys in hardware. Obviously more secure. The more application that can support passwordless by default, the more applications can do data encryption, the more applications that can have a zero trust protections because they've got that virtualization based in to report on their integrity. Now, Windows 11 is the version of Windows on everybody's mind, but it's not just about that. All the following future versions of the Windows operating system will be exploiting the fact that TPM is an integral part of your system's build to better extend and increase security. So it's just a stage setting, a foundation upon which a stronger security feature can then be built. This raising of the bar for security by requiring hardware that can enable protections like Windows Hello, device encryption, virtualization based on security, hypervisor protected code and secure boot makes a combination of these features to be a strong case for security and also has been shown by Microsoft's own test to reduce malware by up to 60% on tested devices. Now, Windows 11 supported CPUs have embedded TPM support, secure boot and that VBS and specific VBS capabilities. Devices that are going to be upgraded to Windows 11 will be supported and be in a reliable state. And by choosing CPUs that have adopted the new Windows driver model and are supported by Microsoft's OEM and Silicon partners, are achieving a 99.8% crash-free experience at the desktop. So whereas the trusted platform module or TPM chip may seem like a hindrance or an obstacle to overcome in upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, it really is there to provide a good solid foundation for security, not only now for Windows 11, but for further Windows operating systems in the future.